where do you feel you want to add more things into your life so you can gain something? And really ask yourself the question, have you considered cutting some stuff out? Have you considered removing things out of your life in order to maybe get a better result? And as I think about it, I, I realize the difficulty of this, this concept because I'm, I only have this in hindsight. Uh, I didn't realize the gains that I was going to get by subtracting. I was just slashing stuff out, whatever I could cut out. Uh, it was just going. In fact, I was cutting out, adding stuff in all over the place. And once I realized what the cutting out was doing, it really gave me perspective to really understand how these things were were impacting my life. And so I realized for you, you might not know. You might, you might not understand exactly what to cut out. I know that I didn't when I was starting out. I just know that once I started cutting things out, it really put me in a space where I could add it back in and see what it was actually doing. And once I actually found the benefits of subtracting stuff out, that became a focal point for me. My name is Thad David. I'm a former Marine Recon Scout sniper with two deployments to Iraq. As a civilian, I've now facilitated hundreds of personal and professional development trainings across the country. And it struck me recently that the same things that help civilians will also help veterans succeed in their new roles as well. Join me as we define civilian success principles to inspire veteran victories. Subtraction before you add. Well, through the last 18 months, I've had several messages from veterans and people all along the way that have been turning their lives around in a positive direction. It's blown me away to see the, the reach that we've been able to have and the, just the lives we've been able to help out all along the way. So I wanted to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you to all of you. Keep putting in the great work and please let me know how I'm able to help. I love to hear what we can do to support you in a better way. I'm also proud to mention that we've been able to put together our first 100 episodes. In fact, this one is number 101. And I've been looking back and reflecting on all of it at how much time it's taken to create this much content. And I wanted to really reflect on what was the biggest lesson that I learned from all of you, from all of this content all along the way. And you know, any time in my life that I've wanted to do something different, change something. It usually comes with me asking the question, what do I need to add into my life to make this happen? Where do I need to, to add something different? For instance, if I wanted to get in shape, what workout do I need to add in? What pre-workout or post-workout drink do I need to add into my diet? How much earlier do I need to wake up so I can add more time into my day? As my knee and my back pain got worse during these intense training sessions, I started looking at what supplements do I need to add in? What joint supplements can I add into my regimen to maybe help mitigate the pain that I was experiencing? And if I wanted to improve a relationship with my kids, what conversations should I add into my day with them? What activity can I add in to really enhance our lives and the things we're doing together? Where can I add something? No matter the thing that I was looking at, the starting question for me always, it was always the same. What do I need to add into my life in order to make this happen? And what I discovered was I get far more gains from subtracting things out of my life than I do from adding into them. For instance, when I was training for that Pikes Peak Marathon, losing weight became paramount. I, it was a really important thing. And I didn't notice much from subtract from adding stuff into my life until I started subtracting things out. You know, I was adding miles like crazy, but nothing seemed to change. And then I decided on a whim to cut out sweets, booze, and meat for two months. And the chocolate was tough for me. That was the toughest part to drop. But the moment that I did those three things, whether it's I cut them out, weight started shredding off. It was this process of subtraction though that made me realize that as I started to remove some of these things, my knee pain started to go away. You know, this knee pain that I just in my mind had told myself, I'm just always going to deal with it. I'm always going to have this knee pain. It's not going to go away. But once I started subtracting some of these things out of my diet, the knee pain started to go away. And it was really amazing to see what happened with it because I didn't, I didn't know that was going to happen. I wasn't expecting it. I also noticed that I was a much better father and husband because my stress level was much lower and my sleep improved. I cut the booze and my sleep skyrocketed. My tracker, my sleep tracker went through the roof and my sleep was amazing. I could actually sleep less and recover more simply because I had subtracted out things like booze and changed up my diet a little bit. And since the race, I've been able to actually add meat and a few drinks on the weekends back into my diet and my sleeps remain solid. But most importantly for me, I have a handle on things. You know, I know what I can cut back on if the knee pain ever starts to become a problem again while I'm running. And I feel in control, which is what I want for you. 
And I said, I don't want to quit meat forever. That's not, that's not it for me. I love, love a good cheeseburger, but I don't love a cheeseburger more than I hate the knee pain that I have when it flares up. So if I have to pick one, it's an easy choice for me. And for now, I'm, I'm happy to know that I have the space to manage it. And the same thing happened with zone two heart rate training. Now, I was consistently attempting to get things, get a handle on it by adding things into it. But I got far more help when I was cutting things out, which really brings it around to you. Now, where in your life are you hoping to see a change? Where do you feel you want to add more things into your life so you can gain something? And really ask yourself the question, have you considered cutting some stuff out? Have you considered removing things out of your life in order to maybe get a better result? And as I think about it, I, I realize the difficulty of this, this concept because I'm, I only have this in hindsight. Uh, I didn't realize the gains that I was going to get by subtracting. I was just slashing stuff out, whatever I could cut out. Uh, it was just going. In fact, I was cutting out, adding stuff in all over the place. And once I realized what the cutting out was doing, it really gave me perspective to really understand how these things were, were impacting my life. And so I realized for you, you might not know, you might, you might not understand exactly what to cut out. I know that I didn't when I was starting out. I just know that once I started cutting things out, it really put me in a space where I could add it back in and see what it was actually doing. And once I actually found the benefits of subtracting stuff out, that became a focal point for me. I was cut stuff like crazy and it might be where you need to start. If you're unsure of what to do first, you know, sometimes the, the best way to create the painting of your life that you want is to start with a blank canvas. And, and really clearing it all off and slowly start to add things back. This might give you the perspective that you need in your life to, to live the life that you want. You know, and again, I mentioned, I, I have no desire to be a vegetarian. I love cheeseburgers. I love meat. I don't, I don't want to be a vegetarian. However, that two month time period without meat really helped me understand how it was impacting my body. And so when I choose to eat fried chicken, for instance, one thing that I absolutely love I now choose to eat it from a place that I know is not going to wreck my system with a sodium bomb and really cause an inflammation and cause my knees to flare back up because I have the clarity to know exactly what was going on with it. So I still get the, the fried chicken that I crave that I want, but I also get it in a way that I know that I'm not going to wake up and have knee pain when I'm trying to run. And that's the, that's the power over your life that I want for you. Because now that I have it all back, I feel like I have control. You know, I, I can live the life that I want. I can eat what I want. I can, I can drink whenever I want to casually on the weekends, and I can do so pain-free. I feel in control. So by no means am I suggesting that you cut out meat, booze, or sweets, but I do recommend you take an assessment on the things that you bring into your life daily. And I would challenge you to consider dropping some habits just to see how they're impacting you. It's really, you know, are you getting, asking yourself the question, are you getting value out of this item that you've brought into your life or is it actually creating a negative impact that you're unaware of? You know, for instance, for me with the sweets, which was surprising for me because I, I really, I thought that I used to, I love that shirt that I, I work out so that I can eat tacos. And I felt like I worked out so much so that if I took some time to eat some cookies, like, hey, that's okay. I worked out a ton. I burned 1,200 calories on my run. Like, I, I can eat some eat some cookies. And the moment that I, I took those out of my life, I was, I mean, I really felt like an addiction to these sweets. It was crazy to think about. And it was nice to be able to just take an assessment. But what I thought was a neutral space in my life that, that I, I definitely didn't associate it as a very big negative. I didn't realize just how big of a negative it was actually having as it relates to my knee pain and the things that I was dealing with. And for you, there's only one way to find out. There's only one way to find out and understand, and that's to start with a clean slate. So this could be anything diet related, you know, mentally, what are you bringing into your mental diet? Are you constantly on social media? Are you constantly watching negative news type things? Because uh, again, I, I'm not suggesting that you remove one thing or another. I'm just offering that it might be beneficial to take an assessment and just see how it's impacting you day to day. Because once you have an understanding of what it's doing, you can then make a better choice. I was happy last night. Speaking of uh, sweets is I grabbed a couple of s'mores Girl Scout cookies and I ate two. 
and it was good. It was great. I didn't eat the whole box like I normally would have. And I also woke up this morning and I was able to run pain free. And again, this is the power that I want to give you in your life. So I challenge you, consider where do you want to improve something in your life? And then consider starting with a blank slate. Consider removing a bunch of stuff, not for not permanently, but just so that when you start adding it back in one at a time, you can see what it's doing and how it's impacting your life, your body, your mind on a daily basis. There's only one way to find out. Until next time. One million veterans. Empowering one million veterans is my mission. My name is Thad David. And if you like this mission or this podcast, there's a few things you could do to help me out. And number one is just leave a five-star review and let the world know that you enjoyed this show. Number two, follow or subscribe the show wherever you're watching. And number three, share it with as many people as you think would find value in it. Now, if you have direct feedback for me, or if there's anything that I can do to personally help you out, please reach out to me directly at victoriousveteranproject at gmail.com. I truly look forward to hearing from you. Conquer today.